definitely. Like, I'm just saying, we totes gotta win that kid over. <laughs> yeah, never. Dude, I want to. I, I like so. Project. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, no, I didn't. Hugo put his head in his hands inside. Ah. I'm so sorry. He's having a really tough time, especially with all that pot. Yeah, he keeps hiding in his pants, fucker. I don't want to stick his want. dick. I don't want to smoke his dick weed. God. Yeah. But keep hiding it down there. Uh, <laughs> as much as I want to be the cool dad, you know, hip and... <laughs> Sorry. Pot. Um, <laughs> I have authoritarian dad, and he clearly resents me for it. Oh. Dude, I mean, I think as a dad and a teacher, that's about as... I can't pronounce that Authoritarian. Word. Authoritarian. <laughs> Authoritarian as you... As you can get, dude, I better... I feel like that's Craig actually said that. <laughs> yes. And then we all just corrected him. Yeah. It's <clears throat> authoritarian, bro. <laughs> Honestly, are there any of this, are any of this cool dudes? Is that even possible to be a cool dad? I want to be a cool dad. What? I'm as cool as a cucumber. If you say it like yeah. that, you're obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> See? That right there, you can't say that. Matt knows. Dude, my kids become cool. Okay, well, Craig is cool. Look at him, he's ripped. <laughs> Anybody that can bench press my ass is cool. <laughs> but how long, Craig? How long do you get to be the cool dad? Don't make him cry. <clears throat> I don't know, bro. Don't make him uh, cry! <laughs> uh, I think we just have... I did it again! It's fine. I, I think we just have to accept the fact that, that as dads, we've become the machines we once raged again, and accept our fates as unironically with with suck with sandals and looking at my lines again. <laughs> Our kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you're doomed. I mean, it wasn't that way for me, but alright. <laughs> Amanda's 18 and she still thinks I'm cool. How do you nice. know? I <laughs> nice! Craig goes. <laughs> I yell across the yard at my daughter. Amanda! I'm cool! Right? <laughs> Amanda just laughs. She keeps laughing. <laughs> I see your point. I mean, if my mom screamed at me, I'm cool, right, Kristen? I'd probably laugh, too. Because <laughs> my mom is cool, but it's when you, when you ask, it's like, oh. <laughs> as much as we want it, I don't think it's as important to be a, you know, cool, hip dad as it is to be a good dad, True. yo. Stellar. We can't all be the best friends with our kids. It just doesn't work. I mean, look at me and Fugly Ernest. Yes! <laughs> yes. That's just his name now. There's like Fugly <laughs> Ernest. It's the name of the episode. <laughs> Jobs, parents, to make sure our kids turn out stellar. Yes. Yeah, you're right. But it'd be nice to have it both ways. Like I have with my mom. But also me, because bisexual joke. Hearing these guys talking about this makes me think about my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well, but there might come a time where it won't be like that. In college, when that is college, when that happens. Don't let it eat up your time, Gabby. Go meet some of the other people around the neighborhood. Roger Dodger. Let's get to that. Robert and Brian. Yeah, Brian's the guy that threw a frisbee at us. Okay. It's gonna be awkward now. with uh. <sighs> oh, maybe we shouldn't because because that's so many voices for Max. He plays both of those guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey! And he had to do it. All right. <laughs> I, I, I be who? Okay. Oh, I, I, I had to go. Okay. Yeah, no, you're good. It's, it's Max turns to play 90 people at once. <laughs> I walk over to Robert and Brian who are chatting over drinks, determined. Not to be weird about what happened that night, I hope Rupert feels the same. He's gonna be like, yeah, man, and then I, oh, fuck, here comes that loser, bye. <laughs> hey, guys. 
I'm here for Studley McBrien over here. I just realized my <laughs> mouse has been in the center of the screen this entire time, and now I'm mad. Uh, okay. Skull <sighs> Yeah, Scott, it's okay. Gibby, how the heck are you settling into the neighborhood, all right? Yeah, because your nose is beautiful. It just makes the world better. Oh, you betcha. Got the living room in order, at least. That's great to hear. I've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got the 50 inch in there. The game looks great and high diff. I bet. High oh, boy. Oh. Gibby, have you met Robert yet? Unfortunately. Yes, I believe we've met. Briefly. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> you know, he's so angry! Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Oh, shit. Robert robotically extends a hand to shake it and stares unblinkingly into my <laughs> eyes. Oh, God, what does it mean? How's it going? I, too, am dead inside. It's good. Robert focuses on the whiskey he's holding and takes on long as it got. Great, look at my friends becoming friends. Us dads gotta stick together, you know. It's, we're not gonna be friends because Robert hates us. I love <laughs> Robert, but he hates us. Us dads? Robert has a kid? Holy shit. Oh, I didn't know you had kids. Robert continues to stare at me. Jesus, does this guy even blink? What? Yeah, what? I saw him, you blink. He's, he's blinking. He's just he's being a dick. Yep. I made the mistake of coming over here, didn't I? Cool. That's cool. We stared incredibly uncomfortably in size for several minutes until. We gotta get off this haunted truck! Oh no! I, I'm doing with the wrong voice. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! It's my turn to fuck up! <laughs> Oh no! The ghost locked us in the door! Holy shit, what are we gonna do? Daisy and Amanda run up to us, thank god. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, hit the emergency escape button! But this the truck doesn't have an emergency escape button! Uh, then... Hit the brakes, you dumb shit! Oh my god, <laughs> I guess then we're just gonna have to get out of this truck! We're gonna die! We're gonna fucking <laughs> die! This imaginary truck! Anyway, now that we're all dead and we're safe from the ghosts... <laughs> Because we are ghosts. But we'll hopefully we'll be able to survive the Arctic Tundra. Daisy, you might have to eat me. Are you prepared to do that? I bet I'd make a great steak. I'd be delicious. <laughs> you know? I'm prepared to do anything to this- Oh my god, her smug-ass face. <laughs> <Yeah>. Good god! <laughs> That's cold blood and I like it. Although I'm not sure I have the materials required to cook you properly. Oh. Wait a second, are you guys playing long haul ice road paranormal ghost truckers? Fuck yeah! Bitch. Yeah! Oh, no. Amanda, I love that show! It's the best, especially that episode where Caleb hit ice flint skis and. Matt retaliates by breaking an ancient cursed urn and sending the spirit after him? Yeah, it's such quality reality television. Oh my goodness. Yeah, dude. All right, Daisy. I found a couple of bugs. These are gonna have a great, great meal. Lots of protein. Gonna keep us from starving here in this harsh, icy wasteland. You would not find bugs in a wasteland, Amanda. What have I taught you? But this whole table of food right over this. Shh, Daisy. <laughs> it's a game. We're playing pretend. It's what kids do, you dumbass. Live a little. <laughs> Amanda gives Daisy a handful of gummy worms from the snack table. They eat them and, and with mock disgust. Let's go find candlelight for a fire. Yeah, okay. Oh, Robert just leaves. <laughs> but not an actual fire. Because we're playing pretend? Yeah. Now you're getting it. Daisy and Amanda <laughs> run off with a cute couple of kids. I turn my attention back to the conversation, but wait, where did Robert go? Skin the party, find him. You find him in the corner talking to Mary. Does does he not want to talk to me? Yeah, that's kind of what happens when people don't want to talk to you. Man, I've never seen her get along with anyone so quickly. I snap out of my Robert-induced haze. Me! <laughs> Anytime I ever see that man, Robert-induced haze. <laughs> I guess Amanda just sort of has a way with kids. That's kind of amazing. 
this doesn't really get long. The kid's at age. Well, good. Hmm. It's this nice that he's not trying long. to one-up me this time. Maybe we can have a regular friendship after all. Really? <laughs> she just kind of keeps it herself. The teacher said she spends every recess in the library. I think that the other kids are intimidated by her intelligence. That could be entirely possible. There it there. is. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about too much. Amanda was shy at Daisy's age, too. She used to have a habit of crawling under the tables and crying every time we took her to a restaurant. Oh. She bit people, too. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, right? Gotta love them. You're required by law. This is true. Actually, not by law. You don't have to love your kids by law. Oh, you just true. have to take care of them. Jeez, true. Max. Like, it's morbid. <laughs> I <No>. don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, since they're getting along so well, maybe we should try and put together a little play date for them. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, you know, I don't have to take up too much of your time. Go meet some of the other fellas. Oh, I guess wrong. we got that uh, Joseph and Damien, or we can burger time. I mean, it's on our teacher. We're getting burgers. <laughs> I don't like Joseph. <laughs> Without further ado, I'm doing the wrong voice again, because fuck my pussy. I'm sorry, I was doing sexy pangu plays today, so. <laughs> uh, Without further ado, uh, let's work some magic. Magic on that, uh, pussy. Uh, like, there I go again. Joseph closes his eyes, take a deep breath, getting to work. With the greatest of ease, he sets patties onto the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula in the air. It's it's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. You guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? <laughs> Pussy! No. No. He's working faster now, effortlessly tossing cheese onto patties and per perfectly grilled onions on the side. This <laughs> Good God! What'd you say, Annie? I'm making me hungry. More times than he wants to admit, if you know what I mean. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. One after another, the dads take notice and crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful technique. Oh dear Lord! <laughs> Here we go. Yo, uh, dude, you probably didn't notice, Gaby, but Joseph knows known around here for his grillsmanship. <laughs> Hashtag grills. He's on grill leaveable. Oh god, here it comes. Oh, yeah, dude. I try to get on this level, but I just can't catch up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let us keep saying she has a rare quality about him. <sighs> <laughs> oh, what should I do with him? Must it? We keep talking about this. Can't we appreciate the, the artist? Oh my god. I've never seen him make a mistake. Get the fuck out of here, Robert! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. Fuck me in the ass. <laughs> Please stop for the love of God. I'm gonna kill everyone in this room. I mean outside. Yard. All the children at the party boo. <laughs> the glorious display of puns in unison. Alright guys, food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue in a barbecue. <laughs> Amanda groans. We all grab food and hang out. Enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. <laughs> Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cul-de-sac. Oh, God. It kind of nice, isn't it? It feels like there's a real community here. It totally helps when you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. Because then there's all these other kids, so you can force your child onto other parents. It's great. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, dude. We're happy to have you here, man. And I keep... I think you're gonna like this neighborhood a lot. Thanks, bro. <clears throat> Plus, Stella Amanda seems to be getting along with all these cool kids. Slides will get into the babysitting game. She'll really make a killing. That's probably killing all true. the kids. <laughs> Me? <laughs> killing all them kids, yeah. Mm. <laughs> hey, why don't you add us on Dad Book? The fuck is Dad Book? <laughs> Dad Book? Yeah, it's a great social networking for dads. That's 
that's weird to keep in touch with each other. We're all on it. If so, if you ever need to reach out to us, that's the simplest way to do it. This is how the game comes together. This is how we keep in contact with them and do dates and stuff. I knew it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just an old fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. The rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beer as our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmencita and those weird twins. Oh my god. I think they wanted her soul. <laughs> Ooh, I got an achievement. Welcome to the neighborhood. Amanda and I walk back to our place sunsetting over the neighborhood. Fuck Robert, am I right? Who does he think he is? Amanda's like, the fuck is Robert? Who is this man? Whiskey boy? Party was fun, don't you think? Except for Robert. He was a prick. I mean, it got a burger in me. <laughs> I wish I could event. have been playing Paranormal Ice Road Truckers. <laughs> is that what we should put it? <laughs> yes. You and Daisy seem like you're having a way better time than I was. Because we were, dumbass. <laughs> Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on Dad Book. Maybe I will. If I ever figure out how social media works. I'm here for you, Dad. I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, Dad. Goodbye, daughter. You've been devoured by a loading screen. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Amanda and I arrived home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm, seems nobody really liked the cauliflower. Okay, well, if you actually cook the cauliflower and put, like, Parmesan cheese on it, it would be fucking great, so... Right, right. I haven't eaten yet. Any plans for this evening? Eating. Actually, yeah, <laughs> I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Don't leave me. Oh, man, he should say it's one of them, Noah. <laughs> yeah, is that Okay. Of course. Just keep me posted. And be home before midnight. Mm. Even though you're 18 years old. You got it. <laughs> and be careful. I will. Make good choices. <laughs> of course. And call me if you need anything. Shut up, Dad. Dad, you're not gonna do this where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with the lights off, are you? What? No, I've never done that and I never will do that. Ever. Shit, she's on never. to me. <laughs> Okay. Do you have plans tonight? I, uh... My plans were kind of eating ice cream and watching TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Whew. Throw a party! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you make one. Uh, see how long I can sleep for. Uh, maybe... oh, okay. Kiddo, I'm tapped out. But the sun hasn't even gone down yet. I'm old! <laughs> I still have to sleep to catch up on from when you were just a baby. Just let me be. Me as a parent. <laughs> I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? Great. See you later. Watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really hope she has fun. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind. I thought that said masturbate for a second, but <laughs> with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman, whoever the fuck that is, looks like Gavin's <laughs> making a roast rack of lamb and rosemary mashed potato. That sounds great. I, it's, it's, it's making me so hungry. I know. I feel so bad because two of us haven't eaten in this group. <laughs> uh, yes. Because I'm having a well, I know, I know you and you and uh, you and Digi haven't. I have. I'm pretty sure Annie has. Ah. Yeah, that'd be. Too oh, okay. I'd love to I, be I able to cook choice. like that, though. Although, I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil, like just making baked Alaska all day instead of any food for real <laughs> nutritional substance. Me. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that. It's a thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. <laughs> I love Tretz. I lost track of time and I blazed through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind. <clears throat> and, uh, and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. Ooh, that sounds hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure what that one was. <clears throat> There's just a lot of yelling. It's probably something like Hell Kitchen, Hell's yeah. Kitchen, or something. <laughs> I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in on Amanda. I send a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? 
I'm very good. Good Leo, good dude, Leo. I wander to the kitchen, and as I wait for a reply, Amanda's phone is almost always in her hands. So I'm sure she she'll respond soon, unless she's driving home now. In which case, I hope she doesn't respond soon because I definitely taught her better than a text and drive. Amanda, I reach into the freezer and grab some, an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I've earned it after a long day of socializing. socializing. Check my watch again, <laughs> and then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. She's dead! My baby's <laughs> dead! Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? My baby's dead, officer! No, no. It's too soon for that. I'll, I'll just send a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episode of Gavin Chapman's Meet Hell uh, uh, are not even... <laughs> Not, not only not a, a, a whatever that word is, assuaging my, my anxiety. Assuaging, I, my, I knew that word, but how to spell it off the top of my head. Blech. My poss possibility exacerbating is uh, is that's yelling. I'm having a stroke, so I keep <laughs> pacing around the house, waiting for her to come home. Just wait for Beepy to come home. Beep when you get home. <laughs> Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she going with? Why didn't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' phone names? Who is Emma P? <laughs> I decided to send another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. Please? Please! I can't help but think of all the awful things that could happen to her. Oh. Oh, thank God that's her. Man opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally, she's back home. I'm so glad she's okay. Sup? Sweetie, thank God you're safe! Holy shit! Uh, yes. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. <laughs> Why didn't you answer my text? Yeah, Minta pulls out her phone out of her pocket. Oh, whoops, I guess I didn't see those. <laughs> she starts to walk to her room. I'm into Anne! Whoa, we're pulling out the middle names now? Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew, and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops! Well, she's 18. She doesn't have a curfew anymore. God damn it. Back from the dead.